T'étais où Richard, j'étais folle d'inquiétude. Hey, j'étais à deux doigts d'appeler la police. J'ai vécu quelque chose de vraiment difficile hier. Puis tu t'es saoulé? Chez qui t'as dormi? Je sais pas. Comment ça, tu sais pas où t'as dormi? Je m'en rappelle plus. C'est ça que t'as peur. Faut que tu me fasses confiance, ok? Peu importe ce qui va arriver, je veux que tu saches que je t'aime. Being a lifelong Gittles connoisseur, it is with great sadness and dissolution that I write to you. I have always had the utmost respect and enjoyment of the Gittles brand, and this since my early childhood. I believe your last stop is the Sour Gittles to be your company's chef d'oeuvre. Imagine my excitement when last night, roaming through my convenience store, I lit my eyes on a new Gittles product, the Fizzle Gittles. Needless to say, I could hardly contain my emotions, but what came next nearly broke my heart. My overwhelming excitement abruptly turned to bitter disappointment, leaving me with a sentiment of emptiness, a sense of loss, if you will. A company that I had such admired had let me down. I find this product to be subpar, to say the least. Relying on a cheap tactic such as a slight foam formation in the mouth, unsuccessfully masking a very questionable taste. These are the tactics of fly-by-night candy companies, not an American institution such as Nightly. J'ai vécu quelque chose de vraiment difficile hier. Try as I may, war cannot express my disappointment. Tu comprendrais pas. Betrayed Richard Patrick Fleming III. T'as un putain de problème, toi. Hein? Tu le sais, ça T'es un putain d'abruti Richard, des fois je me demande si tu sors pas avec moi juste parce que je travaille chez Gittles. Très bon, con. Je t'aime, bébé. Tu as mis ça avec Gittles? <rire>